Hello all, I'm Archana Kuzbal, Assistant Professor at AISSMS IOIT. In this video, we are going to discuss the prescriptive models of the STL. So in basically in prescriptive models, there are the multiple models that we are like the vertical model, incremental model, B model. So out of the different models, in this video, we are going to discuss the waterfall. So what is the waterfall model? Waterfall model is basically the model which works in the linear fashion. It works in the sequential fashion. So you can see here uh, the graphical representation of that. It starts from communication. That is, in communication, what we do is we, pro we perform the project initiation requirements gathering from the customer side. Uh, then we, uh, in, once the gather requirements are gathered, we uh, prepare the SRS. So after that, the next phase is the planning. So in planning, we'll do the estimation, scheduling, tracking, modeling, that is analysis and design, construction, that is the code and test, and then the deployment, that is the delivery, delivery of the particular software and support and feedback. Okay, so you can see, uh, see here are the different phases are there or the stages are there. So when we are saying the waterfall model, so one waterfall model, the workflow from the communication to the deployment is work flows in a serial fashion, in a linear fashion. Okay, so here we will see the details of that. It is a linear model. Waterfall model is a linear model that work flows from the communication to deployment in a linear fashion, in a sequential fashion. So this situation is sometimes encountered when, when well-defined adaptations or enhancements to an existing system must be made. So we can use the waterfall model either for the new system or for the existing system in which we want to make some changes. We want to adapt it to the new changes. So this is okay when the app, we can use this model when the adaptations or enhancements or the requirements are well-defined at the start of the project itself. For example, an adaptation to the accounting software that has been mandated because of the changes to the government regulation. So here, the changes have been made and now we want to make the changes to the account accounting software. So requirements are clear, precise in nature. So in this way, we can use the waterfall model over here. So it can also be used in a limited number of new development efforts, but only when requirements are well-defined and reasonably stable. So the waterfall model, sometimes called life cycle model, suggests a systematic sequential approach to software development which begins with the customer specification of requirements and progresses to planning, modeling, construction, and deployment of the project culminating in an ongoing support of the completed software. So there is one more variation is there in the waterfall model and the variation in the representation of the waterfall model is called as the V model because it is in the form of V. That's why it is called as the V model. It is as simple as that. So the V model depicts the relationship of quality assurance actions to the actions associated with communication, modeling, and early construction activities. So it is basically revalidating it over here. It is going downwards and again we are going upwards over here to check all the things once again. Okay. So as a software team moves down left side of the V, Basic problem requirements are refined into progressively more detailed and technical representation of the problem and its solution. Once the code has been generated here, the team moves up to the right side of the V. You can see code. Essentially performing a series of different tests. Unit testing, integration testing, system testing, acceptance testing, like that. So what this V, what this upper right side of the V does is doing it is basically validating each of the models created as the team moved down the left side. So in reality, there is no fundamental difference between the classic life cycle and the V model. So the V model provides a way of visualizing how verification and validation actions are applied to the earlier engineering work. So that is the main purpose of the V model, verification and validation. Uh, there are some drawbacks of the waterfall model are there that we'll discuss here. So real-time projects rarely follow the this waterfall model because they rarely follow sequentially. Not every model, every project works sequentially. They works in the different fashion, not in the linear fashion, non-linear fashion. So in that case, we cannot apply the waterfall model to it. So it is often, next one is, it is often difficult for the customer to state all the requirements at a time. Yes, it is very difficult for the customer to define. Obviously, the customer has to define all the requirements in the start of the project itself. But 
uh, sometimes the customer may give some more requirements at the later stage of the uh, project so we should be able to accept those requirements we should be able to adapt those requirements in the software so but that provision is is not there into the waterfall model. So customer need to be tolerant as the working model cannot be viewed unless the last phase ends. Here the working model cannot be viewed as the process works in a linear fashion. So you will not get the smaller model working product. You will get everything at the end of the model. So any mistakes which is left untouched will not get discovered and corrected till the last phase of the model. Thank you.